so yes so as i was saying in the previous video god waited until you were mature enough to pluck them from around you you see god couldn't do it in the first phase where you were vulnerable and you still had to grow in him and learn about who he was so he just he waited until you were mature enough in the second season that is what he's revealing to me the second season to ordain the rejection that he can work on you that you can heal from it because at times these things takes time to heal i mean minds took months to heal literally took months to heal because i couldn't understand what god was doing right so that is my that is my reference day testimony for you all tonight because where i am it's night right now ordained rejection is separation for elevation and listen when you get over this phase and you understand what god is doing and as he elevates you you'll be like mm, i understand why god did that and with me he revealed himself in his fullness i took over this person because so and so and so reason i took over this person because i tested them and they prove themselves not ready i was like what so some persons will come along with you in your second season they could be a strong brother or sister in christ someone that you highly look up to because that person i really looked up to them really looked up to them and God told me, I tested them, but they were proven not ready. So what did God do? God took away that person from me. He literally took them away from me. And I couldn't understand it. I couldn't understand it. But I understand it now. God knows our heart. He knows everyone's heart. So God will test that person. Because he see that they want to grow. He see that they want to do his will. He see that they, has, that they have the potential to be a backbone for you. But he will test them. And if they are proven not ready, he's going to take them from you. Without even you doing anything. So you guys take care and be blessed. This was my reference day. When you have come along, if you are experiencing it, take these keys and apply them. And understand that God is an intentional God and he knows what's best for you. Take care.